I had a chance to stop by the Acton Public Safety Building to talk to EMT and fireman Thomas Matthews about the AED units that are located at all the town offices and organizations that can help people save lives. Here's his demonstration. Hi, my name is Tom Matthews. I'm a firefighter EMT here for the town of Acton Fire Department. I'm in charge of the uh, AEDs for the town and the town buildings as well as on the uh, apparatus for the fire department. Uh, so we're here today to uh, show off the new equipment we got. We just recently uh, got new Zoll equipment. Uh, so we were changing over from a Phillips device to a Zoll. And um, so today was just a demonstration on the layperson AED. Um, I didn't unfortunately get one of the professional models that we have on the apparatus because those are all in service. But uh, we can give a quick uh, overview of the uh, AEDs that we have in, uh, in, uh, that are going to be going out to the town buildings. So here is a uh, practice uh, device that we have. So we got two of these devices that we can train on. Uh, we can show the, uh, the people in the town uh, how, to, how to practice with them. A lot of people have taken our CPR AED classes, so uh, this is the device that we use uh, along with our mannequins. These are the older, if you want to come over on this, this is the older de device. This is an uh, early 2000s model. Um, we no longer have those. Those are old, old devices. And then this is our um, device that we're replacing. These are a Philips model. Um, some of them remember we have the old uh, keypad that we have to change the settings on it. We no longer have this. So now we went to a Zoll. Zoll is going to be supplying all our ADs. We have two um, monitors that we're going to be needing for the ALS department. We're actually going to be going ALS, which is uh, advanced life support. So our ambulance was uh, BLS, and it's eventually going to be going ALS. So with that, we have uh, more professional models and um, cardiac monitors that they're going to need to go ALS. So this is the, uh, the layperson um, AED that's going to be in all town buildings. Uh, so it's similar to the, the practice um, um, device, but it's this one actually is a real AED. This does actually provide a real shock. And uh, I should mention that what AED stands for, because that has been brought up. Uh, so AED stands for uh, automatic automatic external defibrillator. Uh, some people have implanted uh, defibrillators. This one's external. So we use this in the event of a cardiac arrest. Uh, we apply the pads, and it's going to sense a shock, a sense of rhythm that's shockable, and hopefully uh, we can shock that person into a normal sinus rhythm and uh, get that person saved. Uh, so for this here, simple, all as we teach everybody is to turn it on. First thing you want to do is turn it on and it's going to walk you through the event. Unit. Okay, adult pad. So it's already plugged in with the pads. Stay calm. Again, it's going to walk you through a situation. A cardiac arrest event is very stressful. Uh, your adrenaline is going to be through the roof. So if you have a device that's going to walk you through and kind of tell you everything you're going to do, along with calling 911, talking to the dispatcher, the dispatchers are all trained on how to do um, CPR first aid along with the defibrillator. It's gonna help you take this, take the stress, take the stress off the situation a little bit. Again, it's still gonna be stressful, but if you have a device telling you what to do, you have an operator, a 911 operator telling you what to do, hopefully uh, the event will turn out okay. Unit okay. Stay calm, check responsiveness. You okay, you okay? You call 911. That's placed. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Don't touch patient. Analyze it. So it's analyzing. So we don't want to touch the patient, right? Because if we touch the patient, what's going to happen? It's going to pick up don't our rhythm and it may analyze. sense a false rhythm. And so if it senses a rhythm, we don't... Shock advice. Don't touch, shock don't touch patient. Right, so it's Press flashing shock button. So there's a shock button there. Shock delivered. Start CPR. So you go back into your compressions. So how many compressions would we do? 32. 30 compressions, two breaths, right? Or just compressions. Yep, so okay. two breaths. So if you don't have a barrier device, yeah. you don't feel comfortable doing breaths, just keep doing the compressions. Yeah. And if someone shows up that can do the, the breaths for you, have them go for it. So how many, how long is this going to go for? Do you remember? Until help, sh help shows up. Right. But how long, we, we're going to do how many compressions, how many breaths? Oh, 30. 30 32. 32 for how long? About two minutes. Okay. Right. After two minutes, 
it's gonna re it's gonna stop you. You're gonna reanalyze. There's a little bag, a little red bag that's attached to each one. So in that bag is gonna have a razor, uh, a pair, pair of gloves. Uh, it'll have a towel. So if the person's perspired or whatever, and per perspiring can you know, dry them off real quick. Um, a pair of gloves, uh, a barrier face shield mask if you wanted to use it. Uh, that's all attached to a little red bag that will be attached to the AED. Yeah. We do have a listing um, of devices in all fire all fire stations here in town. We all have. Uh, one of these, as well as all apparatus, have um, the professional models, all the fire department uh, first cars, the chief's car, the deputy's car, captain's car, all have AEDs, all the police cruisers have AEDs, um, and then the town buildings. Uh, PSF, which we were in, has two devices, one on this floor, one on the second floor. Uh, the town hall has three, first floor, second floor, and third floor in the, in the, in the main meeting room. The uh, DPW garage has two, one in the lobby, one in the garage. Uh, Narrow Park has one. Uh, we have one at the um, waste station at the um, in South Acton. Uh, two in the library here in the center. One in the library in West. And uh, I think we got them all covered there. So those are all the locations for the for the AEDs. Uh, we do offer classes. They'll probably start up again in the fall. If anyone who wants to take a first aid CPR class, you're more than welcome. Um, we do public uh, publish it on the town website. That's when we uh, that's where we list it as well as our Facebook pages. All right, thank you.